our Math Talino Classroom Random Math Problem for this video is the first ever published alphamatics by Dudine. Can you find the unique solution to Dudine's famous alphamatic? Send plus more equals money. You give it a try and comment down your answer before I show the unique solution. So to start, the same initial strategy in our previous alphamatic. Notice the extra letter in the sum found in the 10,000th place, which is the letter M. Take note that the largest sum that we can get from S plus M is 17. That is, when 1 is 9 and the other one is 8. Even if we anticipate the possibility that there is a carryover of 1 from the hundreds place, the most that we can have is 17 plus 1 or 18. Hence, the corresponding digit for the letter M must be 1. It follows that all the other M's will be replaced by 1. We started pretty good. Next, we consider S plus 1 for which the sum must be 10 or up. So that, we can find the digit for the letter O. Take note that the largest sum that we can get from S plus 1 is 11. That is, when S is 9 and there is a carryover of 1 from the previous place value. But, O cannot be equal to 1, since M is already equal to 1. So, the only possible digit for O is 0. With that, we can now replace other O by 0. Now, going back with S plus 1, we know now that it is equal to 10. So, S can be 9 or S can be 8. Suppose that S is equal to 8. So, we replace S by 8 provided that there is a carryover of 1 from the previous place value in order to get a sum of 10. The only way to have a carryover of 1 from the hundreds place is that E must be equal to 9 provided also that there should be a carryover of 1 from the tens place. Looking at the digits in the hundreds place, 9 plus 0 is equal to 10, which means n is equal to 0. But, n cannot be equal to 0, since o is already equal to 0. Hence, s being equal to 8 is not possible. Now, we suppose that s is equal to 9. Replacing S with 9, there would be no conflict provided that there is no carryover of 1 from the hundreds place. Hence, we say that S is equal to 9. This time, take a look at E plus 0 equals N. By the identity property of addition, E plus 0 is equal to E. But E should not be equal to N. So, we suspect that there is a carryover of 1 from the tens place, so that the value of n is equal to e plus 1. With that relationship of n and e, we list all the possibilities. For e, it can be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7. And since n is equal to e plus 1, so it can be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8, respectively. We now test each possibility. Suppose E is equal to 2 and N is equal to 3. Replacing all E's by 2 and N's by 3, we observe that R must be 8, provided that there is a carryover of 1 from the 1 space so that 8 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 12. Focusing now in the 1's place, the only way it can have a carryover of 1 is that D must be 8 or 9. But D cannot be 8 or 9 since they are already used for the other letters. Hence, 
it's not possible that e is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3. We now proceed. Suppose e is equal to 3 and n is equal to 4. Replacing all e's by 3 and n's by 4. We observe that r must again be 8, provided that there is a carryover of 1 from the 1's place, so that 8 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 13. Focusing in the 1's place, the only way it can have a carryover of 1 is that d must be 7, 8, or 9. But d cannot be 8 or 9, since they are already used for the other letters. Checking for d equals 7, it means that y is equal to 0, since 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. But, y cannot be equal to 0, since o is already equal to 0. Hence, we say that it's not possible that e is equal to 3 and n is equal to 4. We continue. What if e is equal to 4 and n is equal to 5. Replacing all e's by 4 and n's by 5, we observe that r must again be 8, provided that there's a carryover of 1 from the 1's place, so that 8 plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 14. Focusing in the 1's place, the only way it can have a carryover of 1 is that d must be 6, 7, 8, or 9. But, again, D cannot be 8 or 9. Checking for D equals 7, it means that Y is equal to 1, since 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. But, Y cannot be equal to 1, since M is already equal to 1. Checking for D equals 6, it means that Y is equal to 0, since 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. But, Y cannot be equal to 0 since O is already equal to 0. Hence, we say that it's not possible that E is equal to 4 and N is equal to 5. We just go on testing other possibilities. What if E is equal to 5 and N is equal to 6? Replacing all E's by 5 and N's by 6, again, R must be 8, provided that there's a carryover of 1 from the 1's place, so that 8 plus 6 plus 1 is equal to 15. Now, in the 1's place, the only way it can have a carryover of 1 is that D must be 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. But, D cannot be equal to 5, 6, 8, or 9 since these digits were already used for the other letters. Checking for D equals 7, it means that Y is equal to 2, since 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. No conflict with the other digits. Hence, we have found our solution to the problem. We may check for the remaining possibilities for E and N, and we will see that indeed, we already found our unique solution. Hence, the only solution to the given alphabetic is M equals 1, S equals 9, O equals 0, R equals 8, E equals 5, N equals 6, D equals 7, and Y equals 2. I hope you have learned something from our episode, Math Talino Classroom, Random Math Problem. Until next time!